Welcome. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to find the percent of change from 19 to 5. Now the really important thing that we're looking at is we need to be able to find the percent and they also we want to find the change. So first of all, we need to say from what is the change from 19 to 5? So to find the change, what they're really asking us is the difference. So to find the change, I can simply say 19 minus 5 is going to be 14. So that means the change is going to be 14, but what we want to do is we want to find the percent of change. So what we did is we started with 19, right? That's like our total, our initial amount. And so if we have 19 and then we lost or, you know, whatever, went down to 5, we changed in the negative direction. That means we decreased down to um, four, or down to 5. So we decreased by 14. So what was that percent of decrease? So what we want to do when, whenever we're trying to find percents, it's always helpful to kind of look at this as far as ratios and proportions. And the main important thing when looking at a proportion, remember, or a ratio, is going to be a comparison. Well, if let's say if I have 19, and I'm going to say 19 is going to be my total amount. And let's just talk about sticks, for, for instance. If I have 1 over 19, that means I have 1 stick out of 19. If I have 19 out of 19, that means I have 19 sticks out of a total of 19, meaning I would have 100% of my sticks. So what we're going to look at is... Out of the total amount of 19, right, 19 is our total, the ch number of sticks or whatever we're talking about, the number that changed is going to be 14. So I'm going to create a ratio to represent that. And so what that means is I had a change of 14 on a total of 19. Now the next thing I need to look at is I want to create a percent out of this. So how can we represent a percent in this similar fashion using ratios? Well, I'm going to create a proportion and have my ratio over here. So all a proportion is is, a, um, is when you have two ratios equal to each other. So my ratio for percents, remember, well, what is a whole percent? You know, when we're thinking about a percent, if you have, you know, 100%, that's your total amount, right? That, you can't have more than 100%. So we're going to have 100%, um, we're going to have 100 or 100 represented as our denominator. And then as our numerator, that's going to be the percent that's going to be a change. So if we have 19 total, that's equal to 100%. Out of 14 change is equal to what percent? So now what we're going to do this, a lot of times when I teach students how to solve equations, I like to show them you know, the inverse operations. Since we're just talking about percents, we're going to kind of make this quick. What we're going to do is use cross multiplication. So therefore, I'm going to have 19x equals 1,400. Divide by 19 on both sides, and therefore, I'm going to get x equals, and let's see here, use my lovely uh, calculator, 1400 divided by 19, which is 73.7. And again, we could, you know, increase this as a percent, percent, as a percent. So therefore, from 19 to 5 is a 73.7% decrease. So there you go. Hope you enjoy. Thanks.